Tesla stock records its best week on Wall Street since December. March 20. 2022. Tesla shares recorded their best week on Wall Street after gaining over 15% in value during trading since Monday. March 14. 2022. It is the best week for the electric automaker's stock this year and has been Tesla's biggest gain in a five-day stretch since December 2021. Tesla shares finally crossed the $900 threshold this week for the first time since mid-February. Overall, the market has been volatile for some time, especially as inflation has soared and sanctions against Russia, due to its invasion of Ukraine, have adversely affected many sectors. The last time Tesla saw an increase in market value in a single week was from December 27 to December 31, when shares grew nearly 10%, gaining over $105 in value. Source reposted and summarized from Joey Clender at Tesla RT. My take I will feel better once it gets over $1,000 again. Tesla software will measure environmental conditions. March 20, 2022. A new Tesla software update brings an improvement in the estimation of range and consumption by taking into account environmental factors such as wind, air quality and even ambient humidity. Tesla models. Hardware and software are constantly evolving and improving. Thanks to remote updates, they manage to implement new functionalities without having to visit mechanical workshops. As per the software features, Tesla is starting to roll out a new system update, the so-called version 2022.8.2, which introduces improvements and new functionalities as well as a more precise system for calculating range. Thanks to being able to take into account different environmental factors, although at the moment this new software feature seems to have been unnoticed. Some users specialized in the brand's vehicles have given clues about it. According to their own investigations, Tesla models can already specify consumption and autonomy in a better way, by taking into account weather conditions that up until now did not seem to be useful. It basically represents a tiny but important feature that will help users have a better understanding of how far they can travel with their electric vehicles before recharging. Range calculation is not so easy to achieve. As regarding the consumption of any car, there are many different factors to take into account although it is the driver who most influences the state of the battery. External agents also intervene that can weigh down expectations. Air density, lateral wind, frontal wind, terrain leveling, atmospheric conditions, all these parameters affect energy consumption and range figures. The electronic brains of regular cars do not normally take such types of important data into account. Tesla cars do though, or so it seems after the last updates announced. According to some social media users and Tesla fans, the new improvement allows winds, air quality and even ambient humidity to be taken into account when calculating consumption and range. We must bear in mind that cars hide many control elements that we do not see, but that are there to fulfill various important uses, as it is in this case. Source reposted and summarized from Nicholas Caballero at Talk News. My take good idea. The more accurate you make your predictions the more absolute trust you will build in what the car says. Tesla Giga Berlin receives final operating permit. March 20, 2022. Just a few hours ago Tesla blogger Sawyer Merritt tweeted breaking news from Tesla Giga Berlin. Saying an insider source shared with him an email from Tesla to employees informing the receipt of operating permit. This clears the start of production at Giga Berlin. Here is what Merritt just tweeted. Yesterday was a huge day for Tesla Giga Berlin. Tesla officially received their operating permit. This now officially enables them to start production and to deliver cars to customers. The more than 400 things Tesla needed to show officials are now complete. Merritt wrote, referring to his own internal source. I trust Merritt this is why I am reporting this news with our talk news followers. Merritt has been a reliable source for Tesla news and has repeatedly shared Tesla inside news which has proved to be true. Then he shared the copy of the official email from Tesla to employees in both English and German. The email reads Dear Giga Berlin team. Yesterday was a huge day for our Gigafactory Berlin Brandenburg. We officially received our operating permit. This also enables us to start production and to deliver cars to our customers. What a milestone in our young history. Then the email congratulates and thanks Giga Berlin team members and to all that helped to get Tesla to this point. It continues saying great team spirit. And of course, we wouldn't be Tesla if we would not continue working at full speed and already start delivering the first cars to our customers next Tuesday. 
This is going to be a memorable moment and the entire world will watch. As already announced in several emails. We are going to celebrate this event with you straight after the shift ends at 3.00 p.m. We are looking forward to seeing you there. Thank you for your continued hard work. Source reposted and summarized from Armin Harian at Talk News. My take it's now. Game on. Traditional OEMs look out. Car interiors are being influenced by Tesla. March 20th, 2022. Tesla's vehicles have been setting the standards for traditional automakers in a handful of ways. The latest being the onset of a centralized touchscreen instead of buttons. Despite some recent regulator concerns over what activities the screen can be used for, several automakers have already been or are now putting out vehicles with a similarly styled screen. Automakers such as General Motors, Volvo, Stellantis, and many others have unveiled their own versions of the touchscreen panels in recent releases. As Inverse reports, Tesla first added the feature to its Model S back in 2012, when touchscreens in vehicles were but a twinkle in the eyes of the auto industry. I don't think anyone thought virtualized switches was something people would accept five years ago, said Nicole Kratz, GM's chief engineer of battery electric trucks. Everyone wanted a hundred buttons everywhere. GM unveiled the interior of its Chevy Silverado EV at this year's Consumer Electronics Show, which included, unsurprisingly, a 17-inch touchscreen. But once implemented, automakers discovered something unavoidable touchscreens offered a more adaptable interface than buttons. And they could easily be updated on an ongoing basis through over-the-air software updates. Unlike permanent, tactile control buttons, were analog animals, and we can only contemplate so many things at once, explains Ralph Jill, global head of design for Stellantis. In our research, people like a tactile interface. With screens, we can change the function of the interior very quickly and introduce features without needing to create a button for it. It's infinitely updatable, Jill added. Source reposted and summarized from Zachary Visconti at Evanex. My take they say that. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery that mediocrity can pay to greatness.